The Samsung Galaxy A57 is quietly becoming one of the most talked about mid-range phones of 2026. On paper, it might look like a subtle upgrade over the A56, but there's more here than meets the eye. Between a possible GPU boost, smarter camera choices, and a display that seems almost flagship grade, this device could quietly dominate the mid-range segment. Welcome back viewers, Sam here. Like, share, and subscribe for more updates on all things tech. Opening the box, the essentials are neatly packed. You get a fast charger ready to juice up the battery quickly, a Type-C cable for fast charging and data transfers, and that signature Samsung packaging that makes unboxing feel satisfying and precise. Booting it up, the 6.7-inch Super AMOLED display immediately impresses. Colors pop, blacks are deep, and a 120Hs refresh rate delivers buttery, smooth scrolling, whether you're gaming, streaming, or just navigating the UI. It's not just big, it's immersive, bright, and responsive in ways that make you forget you're holding a mid-range phone. On the front, the rumored 50-megapixel camera suggests selfies that could rival some flagship devices, offering detail, sharpness, and better low-light performance. Turn it around, and the main camera setup gets even more intriguing, while Samsung might ditch the macro lens, something few people actually use. It's likely to replace it with a true telephoto option, making zoomed shots practical. And the 108-megapixel primary sensor continues to deliver stunning clarity, so you can expect excellent daytime shots and surprisingly good nighttime photography. Inside, the Galaxy A57 is rumored to run on the Exynos 1680 processor with the XClip 550 GPU. Early benchmarks hint at a big performance boost over the A56, with graphics potentially doubling. This could mean smoother gaming, faster multitasking, and an overall UI that feels responsive. Memory and storage are generous. The base variant comes with 8GB RAM and 128GB storage, while a higher model offers 12GB RAM and 256GB storage. That's plenty for heavy apps, photos, videos, and gaming, even without needing a micro SD card. Battery life is another area where the A57 shines. A 5000 mAh cell paired with 45W fast charging means minimal downtime. You can spend more hours using your phone and less time tethered to a plug. The screen can reportedly reach 1-300 nits of brightness, making it legible in bright sunlight, while stereo speakers and a headphone jack cover both modern and traditional audio experiences. Security isn't left behind either. The fingerprint sensor, likely under display or side, mounted, keeps unlocking seamless and reliable. Software is where Samsung is continuing its surprising lead in the mid-range space. The A57 is expected to launch with Android 16 and One UI 8.5, a version packed with the latest tweaks for fluidity, smooth animations, and enhanced multitasking. Samsung's commitment to long-term updates is especially appealing here, with six major OS upgrades and six years of security patches. For a mid-range device, that's practically unheard of, giving you confidence that this phone won't feel outdated in a few years. Design-wise, the Galaxy A57 leans on the success of its predecessor. Expect a slim 7.4 memory profile, Gorilla Glass Victus Plus front and back, an aluminum frame, and IP67 dust and water resistance. These are features usually reserved for flagships, but Samsung has quietly made them standard in this lineup. Small refinements in weight and balance might make it more comfortable in hand. But the philosophy is clear, perfect what works rather than chasing flashy redesigns. Performance in day, today use is expected to be smooth and fluid. Apps launch quickly, the display reacts instantly, and games should run at high settings without significant drops in frame rate. If Samsung indeed doubles the graphics performance over the A56, titles that previously felt out of reach on mid, range devices could finally run beautifully and with a large, high-quality display. Gaming and streaming are elevated to near flagship experiences. Camera performance is worth another highlight. While the main 108-megapixel sensor is impressive, the expected 50-megapixel selfie camera and telephoto edition could redefine versatility in a mid-range device. Imagine taking detailed portraits, zooming in without losing quality, 
and capturing landscapes that rival older flagships. Night shots, HDR support, and color reproduction all appear to be improved, giving the A57 an edge where the previous generation felt competent but not exceptional. Beyond specs, the Galaxy A57 also seems tailored for users who care about long-term reliability, high-quality materials, IP67 resistance, robust software support, and a well-optimized battery make it feel like an investment rather than a throwaway phone. And the subtle improvements, like better GPU performance and an upgraded camera array, show Samsung's attention to what actually matters to users' speed, photography, and daily usability. Timing and pricing remain consistent with Samsung's strategy. Launch is expected in March 2026, following the A series pattern, and pricing will likely see only a modest bump compared to the A56. That means you could get near flagship performance, a polished design, and reliable software support without breaking the bank. And if Samsung indeed replaces the macro lens with a telephoto, the AA57 could become one of the most practical camera phones in its segment, giving users more real world value than many pricier competitors. In summary, the Galaxy A57 is shaping up to be a quietly powerful, thoughtful mid range device, strong build quality, long term software support, meaningful GPU and camera improvements and a display that feels premium make this one to watch. For anyone in the market for a phone that balances performance, reliability, and price, the A57 looks like it could be a game changer. As more details emerge, we'll dive into hands, on impressions, comparisons with rivals, hidden features, and optimization tips that will help you get the most out of this phone. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, and turn on notifications, so you never miss a deep dive on Samsung and other major releases. Until next time, stay tech savvy and enjoy exploring what the Galaxy A57 has to offer.